Hey guys, Toxie here. Welcome to a video overview for Toxie Y patch 694. Starting off with the breaking changes, you will immediately notice that the performance tab is missing. We have removed it because Blizzard uh, locked the profile or uh, console variable, so we are no longer able to disable the add-on profiler. Uh, just another casual loss for Blizzard. Good job, guys. Moving on to new features, we have added some Mythic Plus information to be displayed in the game menu skin. Credits go to Cryonix for the initial code, thank you very much. And you can see that information here in the game menu skin, top left corner. You'll see the current keystone, your Mythic Plus score, and also your latest runs. And of course that is customizable in Tox UI, skins, game menu skin. And here we have the Mythic Plus section, where we can choose to display or configure the information displayed. Now, of course, I don't have any key right now, but if I quickly go to your Dornagal and receive a key from this lady, after I open the game in the skin, you can see that currently I have Feeder of Pain plus 2. Moving on to bug fixes, we have added some more additional safety checks for our gradient mode hopefully pvp will be less buggy now uh, because well blizzard blizzard's api isn't the greatest and sometimes it returns wrong or missing data so now in those cases it should not break and just rather show uh, the wrong colors black and white in this case so if you do see black and white unit frames do you know that blizzard messed up but uh, the add-on still functions. And we have also fixed a bug with Wunderbar and uh, flyouts. So if I, for example, enable mouse over only, previously what happened, you open your portals, you click on a portal, and the flyout remains open, or well, rather the flyout closes, but Wunderbar remains visible. That's because internally we didn't set the flyout to close then it thought it's open now that is fixed and again thank you to cryonix for pointing this bug out then quickly for the documentation section we've added the explosive hearthstone to wunderbar uh, we've increased the minimum required lvy version to 13.90 so please keep your add-ons up to date and of course we have did minor uh, version updates for retails uh, 11.15 Classic Eras 1.15.7 and for Classics Cataclysm 4.4.2. Uh, now the add-on won't show as if it's out of date. And this time around we also have some settings refactoring, mainly the Skins tab. So now you can see that the Action Bars and Game Menu Skin, they have their own separate tabs where previously they were under the LVY tab and to be quite frank, this uh, you know this tab got had a lot of information. It was difficult to find stuff. So now you open action bars. You see everything related to action bars, meaning the visibility state of those and the colored modifier keys. And as well, game menu skin has seen an uplift. Now it has its own dedicated tab with its own sections and customization for you know that ease of access, I guess. Furthermore, I removed most of the new sign icons. Now, if you don't know what that is, it basically would show a exclamation mark next to a tab or section. Uh, and it di dictates what to display when clicking LVI's what's new button in the top right. So if you didn't know, here's this button, what's new. And when you click it, it shows you everything in the LVI settings that have this exclamation mark. So in this case, Tox UI, you can see the game menu skin has an exclamation mark because we've added the Mythic Plus section and, you know, moved it to a separate tab. So, always check this button after updating, uh, it's quite useful. And of course, as part of the settings refactoring, I've uh, updated some descriptions to be more clear, just so there's less confusion. And that is it for Toxioi patch 694, I do realize this patch is quite small, and it has been quite a long time since the last patch, uh, the reason is very simple for these delays. Uh, first, I think the UI is in a very good shape right now, and I don't know, I just don't know what to change. Everything seems fine for me. 
And secondly, I don't really play the game anymore. Like, I don't know. I, I actually, I never did play WoW. For the past four years, I have kept my subscription running and only play like, I don't know, two, three months a year. So I guess Blizzard, uh, Blizzard is happy that I'm subscribed, even though I'm not playing. Uh, so yeah, motivation is quite low, but if you do have some features or uh, feature requests or bugs that you found, please do visit my Discord server where I'll happily answer your questions or open a issue on GitHub. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.